Hello from Sweden, outside of Liseberg and the new water park entrance is right behind me. It's kind of part of this plaza that they are doing for the 100 year anniversary of the park. So the hotel being the 100 year uh, anniversary, that opening and then this coming in 2024. So we're gonna go look at the construction site and learn a little bit about the water park and what makes it special. There's gonna be hundreds of real live trees inside. Uh, there's a ton of tile work, all uh, tile from Brazil. And um, yeah, let's go and check it out. We own this land for 30 years or so. Um, and we bought some more land on that side of the, the river, an old factory connected to Saab. And when we bought that land in 2013, then we could plan more what we could do with the whole area. And we had 33 options what we could build here in different combinations. Uh, and it ended up that we a hotel and water park. And that is because we wanted a cash flow from January to April when the park is closed. And we we'll also look what we are missing in the area. So a hotel is something that almost all bigger parks has today. So that is something that we wanted to add to the park. And a water park is something that we didn't have in the region of Gothenburg. Like if you go to places similar like this, you need to take the ferry to Denmark. We start to make the decision 2015. Uh, for this project and it cost 2.5 billion Swedish crowns so that is around 250 uh, million dollars so hotel guests can use the second floor and then they don't even have to leave the hotel to get into the water park they can walk right across so the second floor has a theme of water so we will continue with that theme on the corridor and then you go down there and we'll continue our theme and we'll have some uh, music and some lightnings and some stuff to look at. So we're gonna open up a little bit and then you will have the big entrance there with the sign and everything. So historically, all this part of Gothenburg were factories. So we're using that as a memorial when we're building this so it will fit well in the area. When we come in here, it will be a wow factor because it's open up quite high in the ceiling and uh, great theming. It should be like a, a warehouse where you have put all the things you have bought in East India, take it from uh, the boat and you need to put it somewhere. It's that kind of feeling. And it will be stuff on the roof, stuff on the, feet, on the walls as well. So here the big counter will be. When you enter here, you will have a wristband and in the wristband you will have a ship and with the ship you will open your locker and you can lock the locker and if you want to buy something in the facility uh, you will also scan it inside. So on the outside here um, this will open uh, at the same time as the park and this is like a lazy river like a stream and it will happen some stuff during the ride here so you want to do uh, at least uh, two laps to experience everything. Then we will add another pool here, a warm pool, and then maybe a pool bar. And then we have a space to expand for more uh, slides in the future, but that will happen in a couple of years. And when it comes to energy, all this, uh, the rooftop here will be covered of um, uh, solar panels. So 2000 square meters of solar energy will we get from here. And the rest is greenhouse, uh, efficiency. Sustainability is really, really important for us at this bank, so we try to do as much as we can. We'll have uh, five um, locker rooms, and um, here you have the landing pool for the bigger slides. It's quite big, but there is big, big rafts, uh, so they will need this area to slow down. Mm. And over here we have the green and red one that uh, the red one is mostly inside and green one is mostly outside. The wave pool, we will have uh, two or three types of waves. We will see if we will use all three of them or we, uh, if we just use one, we will see. Kid area, kids up to five years old or so. And this is uh, just play and have fun, a lot of water. You will recognize it inside, it's 
use it other parts as well. And this is just the supporters for the slides outside. You have this master blaster from White Water. So it's the first of the kind in Scandinavia. So uh, you basically come down in a raft for two people, get uh, water yes, that uh, helps you up for the, uh, for the hill. And then it's going to be dark, and then you go out there. Uh, the outside is one or two turns uh, before it goes back to the building again. For six people, it's going to be a monster uh, to ride. Uh, I rode a similar one. And I really love it. So I think our guests will love it as well. Those big rafts are a lot of fun. So yes. When they're full, they get a lot of weight. See, if it's quite steep here. Yeah? It's quite long. So uh, we think it's going to be quite fast. <laughs> <laughs> and you also see the holes here in the in the hill. So that is where the uh, jet jet streams will be. Wanna climb higher? Yeah. Let's see how high we can get. 